Hi, good afternoon, everybody. Hope all of you can hear me fine. An absolute honor to be presenting in front. My name is Arijit Bhatta. I am here politics, closely working with government sectors in India. So, what I intend to do in the next 10-15 minutes is just share some of the insights on how organizations are approaching their data-wide strategy and the companies who are really leading this digital transformation wave, what differently are they doing? Are there some best practices that we can learn from them? So about Alteryx, Alteryx is a 25-year-old data and analytics company solely focusing on providing insights and breakthroughs from your organization-wide data. Headquartered in Irvine, California and has branch offices across. We are now present in India. We have an office in Bangalore. We have over 8,000 customers on our platform. 45% of the global 2,000 customers, they use Alteryx. So we've been there for a while. We've been leading our category for quite some time and that's the reason Gartner rates us as number one in the Peer Insights Review. Right, so talking about our customers, as I said, we have over 8,000 customers on us. And if, if, as you see, we have customers in every industry, from manufacturing to travel to hospitality to energy and utility. There are a plethora of use cases which we solve on a platform on a daily basis. We have an equally rich partner ecosystem. So we have strategic alliances with some of the top solution providers, some of the GSIs, some OEMs partners. So if you have any of these deployments at your premise, Alteryx can seamlessly integrate and seamlessly work with all of them. All right, so coming back to our analytics for all story, what I want to share with you today is a couple of quick data points on what we have been listing from our customer base. So this data shows from IAA, the International Institute of Analytics, they have been benchmarking organizations for quite some time. And they have come up with a five-stage maturity model to understand how companies are progressing in this data journey. Where in stage one being companies who have barely made any investments in analytics, and stage five is something that we called as a state where companies have reached an analytical nirvana stage. But by and large, what they found, that at an average, most of these companies, they fall in a score of 2.2. And these are some of the largest companies in the world that we are talking about. So if we drill deeper into what contributes to this low number, organizations are finding it very difficult to find the right tools, find the right solution which can empower their data workers. Data scientists in general is so difficult to find, right? We just don't have enough data scientists in the world. So it's paramount that we are able to enable some of our knowledge workers. A lot of organizations are finding it difficult. Another reason that is contributing, and a lot of speakers spoke about that today, there is, there is still a lot of error-prone manual automation which is happening across. Uh, companies still are using a lot of spreadsheet-based technologies, technologies that are 30-year-old in order to do advanced analytics. In similar lines, New Vantage partners spoke to a lot of data leaders across APAC in order to understand, are they seeing some challenges? So what these data leaders are saying that predominantly everyone, 92% of them have actively invested in some sort of analytics, either in resources, either they've got some complex tools or software, but only 19% of those data leaders are actually seeing or realizing the value from that investment, right? And that's a huge gap. So over the last decade, a lot of money has been fueled in, but from an ROI perspective, the ROI is very low. So a lot of reasons for this number, right? A lot of organizational challenges, a lot of structural challenges, but there are two reasons which really stands out. One, as I mentioned earlier, there is a severe lack of analytic skills in the marketplace. We just don't have enough people to do advanced analytics. And secondly, those error-prone Excel technologies, or which is taking a lot of time to automate stuff. And this is exactly where Alteryx comes in. So what, what is our analytics for all story? We have broken down this story into four easy pillars of E so that everyone can understand what exactly we are trying to achieve. These four pillars are easy, everything, everywhere, and everyone. By easy, we mean that analytics needs to be easy. It should take minutes and hours and not take months or weeks for you to process those data. And everyone in this room knows the large data sets that you'll have, which have millions and millions of rows. Sometimes it takes months to get an output from that data. Analytics needs to be very easy for anyone to consume. The other aspect of an easy platform is that anyone across the organization, that could be some of the most meticulous data scientists, 
that could be some of the uh, people who want your insights right now. Analytics should be available for everyone and very easy. And this has been actually a hallmark for a company. Alteryx is known for our ease of use. Uh, we have put in a lot of money to make an intuitive UI. It's a no-code, low-code kind of a platform. It's a drag-and-drop kind of a platform with the purpose that anyone within the organization can actually use this. The second pillar of E is everything, which means that data is a huge, huge, like data journey in itself is pretty large, right? There are a lot of different operations within, which happens in a data journey. So in the entirety of this data journey, wherever there is a scope of automation, Alteryx has the capability to perform that. That could be your ETL process, that could be your prep and blend, that could be your visual analytics, all the way to your machine learning, predictive, geospatial, spatial, all of that can be achieved in one single platform. By everywhere, what we mean is that data is everywhere today, right? A lot of you have legacy-based systems, so a lot of that data is sitting at your premise. Some of you have made some sort of cloud, cloud investments and a lot of your data has migrated into cloud. We are present everywhere. If you have a on-prem kind of setup, we have a solution for that. If there is a cloud-based setup, we have a solution for that. We can help you in any of those scenarios. And finally, the last E is that is for everyone. That is not just limited for one function or one vertical. Alteryx as a solution caters to multiple different teams, like from finance to supply chain to operations and sales and marketing. And we heard a lot of those stories in some of the other previous speakers who spoke about a solution. So in essence, Alteryx is an end-to-end -end analytics automation platform which can do anything and everything that you might need from an analytics partner. Anywhere your data resides, any of these cloud warehouses, any of the CRM ERP tools, structured, unstructured, semi-structured, we have the capability to input any of that data form. We have close to 80 plus input sources. Any sort of data activities you want to perform can be done and simultaneously whatever be your However you want to process the data, we have the ability to do all of that. So I think that's all I could achieve in eight minutes of my presentation. There is a big product portfolio which is to be discussed. So what I would love, I would really love to engage, pick up conversation with once in every one of you and see that if there are some pockets of automation, if there are some use cases that you might have, please come to us. We are sitting right across this room here. We would love to understand those pockets. We would love to understand if there is any scope of automation. If you are looking for any sort of transformational solution, we would love to partner with you. We can actually do a quick uh, analytics maturity assessment as well, the first slide that we showed. If you want to know where do your organizations lie in that maturity curve, we can actually do that. So in essence, what, what we can do is that company who are making that smart decisions to ensure that they are enabling their, their knowledge workers, they are enabling their business users, and not just limiting analytics for the elitist, not just for the analytics community, not just for the data scientists, are the ones who are truly leading in this digital transformation journey. Right, so with that, I would like to thank all of you. Like, it was an absolute pleasure to present in front of everyone. And I look forward to picking up a conversation with you all. Thank you again. Thank you.